So, long range drones. This is quite a subjective category, as it mainly depends on your budget and what you plan to do with that drone. I'm thinking that simply because you are here, you're probably tired of toy drones that fly for a maximum of 50 meters or so, and want something more to satisfy your need to fly and explore. So that's why I decided to make a list with drones that fly between 1 and 8 kilometers and even more, you can see that at the end, and also sort them by price. This list is updated for the year 2020 as I'll make a new video each year with new drones that appear on the market. As with most of my top videos, I won't be able to talk about all the drones I see fit. So if you want to see a more complete list that's permanently updated, check the description for the article on dronesgeta.com with the written specs and everything you need to know. Let's answer a few questions first. What are the advantages of long-range drones, besides the obvious? First of all, you can be more assured that you have space to do your thing and not be stressed about range. The signal strength is better in situations like when you're flying in a city or maybe there are some trees between you and the drone. It's also easier to follow any objects that drive away from you and still get a proper signal to your phone. Another good question from a viewer of mine is if you lose FPV signal before you lose drone signal. It happens with some drones that the live feed signal is the one to give in first. This means that you'll stop seeing the live feed on your phone or monitor, but still be able to control the drone and go much further. Usually cheaper drones that come with 5.8 GHz 5G Wi-Fi technology come with a Wi-Fi visual range of somewhere between 300 and 1 km, while the actual flight range can be over 1 km. This can be a good thing though, as it means you can still blindly control the drone back to you until you regain signal. But with any GPS drone, you'll have returned to home technology anyways, so it does become quite irrelevant. If you want to find out the answers to other questions, like if the drone range's techniques work or what factors can influence a drone's range, check out the article in the description. Let's start with the shortest distance ones and then go up to the longest distance and talk a bit about each of them. One kilometer is a range good enough for most people that want to keep the drone in the sight. It's also a great category to look for cheaper items, priced even below $200. The Hubson H501S is probably the best cheap drone that still has quite a long range and is pretty reliable. It's not that new, but very reliable and even though the camera is fixed, the image quality is not that bad. It comes with brushless motors and a solid design. The standard range is 1 km, but it made this list because there are many antenna modes you can find online, including a separate controller that can extend the range of the Hubson H501S up to 3 km, as some YouTubers have shown us before. To do that, you'd have to buy a booster antenna package from Bagwood, which is quite inexpensive. Another 1 km range drone, the Hubson Zeno, is always my top recommendation for drones under 300, the Zeno being more than a long range drone coming with a stunning 4K video and 3-axis gimbal stabilization. And why is this surprising? Well, mainly because it is unheard of at this price. It simply has no competition and if you are looking for a drone that has the best image quality possible and a reliable range, look no further. The foldable design and super smooth gimbal are really good for the price. And there's the Hubson Zeno 2 coming just around the corner. The 4km range area is really good base for anyone wanting a capable drone that can let them explore without many restrictions. Probably the best long-range drone under $400 and that's also under 250 grams, the Mavic Mini. This is my new favorite drone and I can't recommend it enough. It's the drone that I use the most because it's so simple and reliable to use. Being so small and portable makes you want to take it anywhere you travel. It definitely is the best travel and vlogging drone thanks to its portability, but it's really also quite capable in terms of video taking. It comes with an extremely good 3-axis gimbal, a 2K camera and an incredible battery life, which sustains its maximum range of 5 km, so you can actually reach that max range without consuming an entire battery. Stay for a while and successfully come back. The Xiaomi Fimi X8 is the best long-range 4K drone under $500. It's probably my favorite low-budget camera drone under $500 that's still capable of some professional level shots. The Xiaomi Fimi X8 is more than a long-distance drone, but also a capable camera quadcopter. The foldable design, great build quality and super stable 3-axis gimbal make it a favorite of mine, along with a great combo of flight range and battery life. The ability of manually controlling ISO, shutter speed and put ND filters on top of it make it a unique buy for people who want to play with their camera settings but have a lower budget. 
If you want to see a full comparison between the Xiaomi Fimi X8 and the DJ Mavic Mini, you can click here in the top or down in the description where I also compare it with other DJ drones. Now we got the longest range of 8 km. This might be an overkill for most people, as in many countries you are limited to fly the drone line of sight. So why would you want a drone that flies this far? The short answer is that such a good signal strength makes it also more reliable in difficult scenarios like when trees are in the way or inside urban areas where there is more interference. The DJI Mavic 2 is the best long range 8 km professional camera drone. If you want the absolute best in terms of image, build quality and overall features, the Mavic 2 is a really good way to go. The Mavic 2 Pro has become the pinnacle of drone technology with two versions to choose from, both coming with the same body and the same insane range capability of up to 8 km. As an important note, the maximum range in Europe is 4 km in C mode, while in FCC mode is 8 km if you buy it from the US. But now with the final surprise, a drone that can fly up to 9 km. I know, it's quite surprising that a drone on this market has managed to beat even DJI. It's called Hotel Evo 2 and it's the longest range professional drone I know of. The Hotel Evo 2 is the longest range drone on this list, beating even the DJI Mavic 2 drone by 1 km in the declared range. Although I haven't personally tested the max range as I have with the Mavic 2. A drone that can go that far doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to reach that type of distance in regular flights, but it's a testament of a better connection in tougher times that might mean city Wi-Fi interference or trees or other obstacles in between. The Hotel Evo 2 comes with three options and specs some insane cameras and sensors, directly competing with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro drone. The auto camera can record in up to 8K 25fps or 4K 60 and fly for 40 minutes or 35 minutes of hover time, which is more than any foldable drone currently on the market. It's true that the CE Europe range is somewhere at 5 km, lower than the estimated 9 km range for the FCC range, but then again that's a condition for all the drones. As a bonus drone, if you happen to like fishing or simply want a drone that looks like the DJI Phantom, the next Next one is quite a catch. The Otal X-Star Premium is one of the best long-range drones for fishing. Besides the fact that it's a really great camera drone that you can actually use even professionally, it has very useful phantom-like format that allows you to get the bait in between its landing legs and drop it when you turn the camera downwards. The 2km range is way more than enough for fishing purposes and even more it can double as a great exploration drone for the area you'll be fishing at so you can show your wife and kids later in what spectacular places you've been. And by the way guys, if you don't understand some terms in this video, don't forget that you can check the glossary with general drone terms so you can learn more about this subject. You can find the link down in the description or right here at the top. Let me know down in the comments which of these drones you like most and which one do you have the budget to buy. If you haven't yet decided what drone to buy, I strongly recommend you check my drone searching tool in the description or here at the top, where you can go and filter drones by price and any spec combination you prefer, including the battle life you want, the distance, the gimbal, if you want image stabilization or not, if you want it to be under 250 grams and so on. In the meantime, you can check my latest video right here or the next video right here. If you want me to make more videos like this, it would be a really great help if you'd subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. The YouTube algorithm is also helped by liking this video, so I encourage you to do that if you want to help me. If you want to see all my favorite drones ranked, check the description for more links on that. Thanks for watching and see you later, alligator!